Hey ninjas, say you have an awesome build like we have going on on our server, and you want to show your friend how it's going, or the finished product, but you don't want to do it in 2D, you want to do it in 3D. Well, I have a solution for you, and it's pretty cool, it's called Stereoscopic 3D, or uh, Stereo 3D, and so basically it involves, if you've ever seen that option on YouTube videos for uh, cross-eyed or no glasses, so basically it's like half cross-eyed and you focus in on the middle picture. It's not too hard if you get used to it too, and it's really easy to do. So there's three steps, and before you start this, or continue this video actually, um, you need to do three things. One is to download Minecraft, which is uh, kind of what we got going on here. <laughs> and uh, two is paint.net, the link will be in the description. And uh, three, just continue this video. So. Before you do anything, you want to resize Minecraft to have it basically as vertical as possible, but not too bad. So like I have it right here and uh, it's probably messed up the viewing. But anyways, you need to have it vertical and then um, you can hit F1. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this little thing I have going on here, the pillars. And uh, you want a front facing view first. So or you don't have to do a front facing view. Actually, what what is uh, important is that, for example, if I have this right here, um, it looks, everything's focused in right now, and this tree is really interesting because, because you get this um, interesting depth of field. But uh, as soon as you uh, start trying to focus in as cross-eyed, those uh, buildings in the background will actually be blurry. It's interesting. So you'll, you'll be focusing on the tree, but you won't be able to see the buildings in the background that easy. So if, that, if that's what you want, then cool, do it. But um, as for right now, I want these two pillars to be 3D. And also, you can do it from the side if you want to, too. It really doesn't matter, but I'm gonna do it from the front right here, and uh, I'm gonna get both of these in here, and then so I'll take a screenshot with F2. I turn off my HUD, but with uh, H or sorry F1, and then so let's just hit F2 to take a screenshot. Sweet, and then so the next thing we need to do is take another screenshot, but it needs to be a little bit different, and we need uh, to get the side of basically a different view of the um, the focus. So for example, if I'm looking at the fountain in front of me, I keep pointing my monitor, but the fountain in front of me, and I move a little bit to the left, and then I get a side view of this, without messing too much with the horizontal, um, the view of it, and that, that's something you have to be keen about, is that it will be really, really, really hard to focus in cross side if you have it too distorted. So you want just a little bit distorted, and then hit F2 again. So now that we got that good, it's all working and fine and dandy, we can go in paint.net, and I will see you there. So here we are in paint.net. It's also important to notice, um, you need to know where your mine Minecraft uh, roaming folder is. So if you go to percent app data, oops, percent app data percent, and then you hit enter and you look for .minecraft, you'll be able to find it in here. Go to screenshots and then you can look for your screenshots below. So we got these two that we need because these are the vertical ones. These are the other ones I was working with. But if you take these two vertical ones, because Vertical works better because you don't have to do cross-site as much, basically. So let's open this in here. And uh, let's just open. And as soon as we open it, we need to say how wide it is, so hit Control A. And it's uh, 645, so just times that by 2. So we can add 2 next to each other. So when we go to uh, New Width, this will be 1290, right? Yeah, 1290. So 1290 width, the height will stay the same because paint on that knows exactly what you're doing pretty much. Hit okay, and then uh, paste. Oops, it doesn't contain an image, I didn't copy it. Okay, so hit control, all, control, copy, or control C. Then uh, keep canvas size because, what is it doing? Oh, interesting, so it didn't know what I was doing. I apologize for that. So let's redo this. Control, all, copy, and then do new. Then do 1290, okay, paste. And then go back to your folder and then just drag the other one. And uh, add layer, move this over. You're basically just putting two pictures next to each other. It's also key to note that um, it's okay to have a white line in the middle if you need to, if you don't exactly know what width it is. But I just times it by two and then put them next to each other to make it easier. And also you don't need to move it like that, you can also move it with your... Uh, arrow keys. So there you go, that's exactly how you do it, and uh, if you do cross-eyed, we're doing cross-eyed right now, you should be able to focus in. Also one thing that helps too, if you want to do that before, is go to your pictures and put like a little white dot or something like that on it, and then, um, so there, there'll be like here, there'll be like a white dot right here, and then a white dot right here, and then you'll be able to um, 
uh, align those two together in the middle picture, and then that will help you focus on it. So that's basically how you do it, and I'll have some examples at the end of this video that you can try. And uh, it's pretty darn cool. It seems kind of weird right now, but uh, as soon as you do it on your monitor, you can even do it on the video right now. So that's pretty much how you make a 3D uh, picture in Minecraft. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and feel free to leave a rating and all that other stuff, and I'll see you later.